Hey everybody, this is Mark this is Nugent Shane. with Nurse Tanya talking about keto diet. Um, if you watch this on replay, this video must have been really good because usually we delete them after. Um, so anyway, we're just waiting for people to join us live. I'm used to, and I'm looking over the wrong camera. Look at the camera's right there. Oh, yeah. Join us live so we can discuss keto chat with our local community. Again, my name is Mark Nugent. I'm actually running for Irvine City Council. This is my lovely wife, Nurse Tanya, who just recently went through a full body transformation with the keto diet. So <laughs> yeah, she looks a lot different than she used to just a couple months ago. And, uh, Not a couple yeah, months a few ago, months like ago. four months ago. So if you guys have questions about the keto diet, that's kind of the new fad, new thing. My wife totally... It's not a fad. Okay, okay. She's the expert. Hey, how Teresa, how are you? So she just went through a total body transformation with the keto diet and actually influenced me to lose a few pounds by cutting carbs. So we thought it was a fun topic, um, aside from the usual politics, because yes, I am uh, that dirty word, a politician here in Irvine. So we thought it'd be fun just to talk to the... Uh, the people about keto diet because a lot of people health and wellness is a issue for a lot of people us too you know right, you're, you're like right. 35 I'm 40 uh, I'm not 35 <laughs> I'm more than that so we thought it'd be fun to talk about it so if you guys ask questions we'll answer them also again this is my you know you'll see signs all over the city coming in about two weeks but I want you guys to you know more about me and my family and who we really are so if you guys got any health challenges or some weight loss goals, let's talk about it. Hello, Cat Cameron. Uh, if, if any of you guys have any experience in the keto diet, please, we'd like to hear it. And um, let me just wave at you guys back. So please share the broadcast and ask questions about the keto diet. So I'll ask you first. Um, so when did you start learning about the keto diet? Because I know she had a bunch of books around the house and stuff. Okay, so, uh, okay. We got a question. One question first, Craig Steele helped us in the election 2016. Type two diabetics. Um, I can't an I can't answer that because I'm not particularly diabetic. But in the keto group that I'm in on Facebook, it's called the Keto Karma. Uh, simply Keto um, on Facebook. Uh, there's a lot of type two diabetic uh, people there that have success stories. How they gone from being diabetic to you know regulating their blood sugar um, on keto diet and uh, finally not having to take their uh, medications so okay. that's all I, I can say and then and, and a lot of them they uh, they also uh, talk to their doctors about the diet first and then the doctors monitor their blood sugar and their health and all that other uh, um, okay. blood tests. So when did you start first learning about keto diet? Well, uh, I started uh, March, March of uh, the 26th of March and um, I just started cutting uh, sugar and you know, uh, the, the carbs that we know like uh, bread, pasta, um, rice, okay. we, ha we have a question, potatoes. Honey. So Teresa asked, I do have a question. What is the coconut oil for? Medium well, chain. Well basically when you have a keto uh, diet, uh, the, the purpose of the keto is for your body to be in ketosis, meaning that you burn your fat. Is there any way to check that? is to burn your fat uh, to use for energy versus using sugar or glucose for, for energy, which is what we are used to. So the coconut oil is just a, a means of, um, you know, taking in uh, extra fat for your uh, nutrition. So when you start doing keto diet, um, you take in a certain amount of uh, uh, fat. Uh, the ratio for a keto diet would be 5% carbs. You still eat carbs, so 5% carbs, 20% protein, and 70% of that is fat. So that's how you start the keto diet. So a lot of the things that you incorporate in your diet from fat would be from coconut oil, avocados, 
and other kinds of what's oils that are good daily, for you. What's your average daily diet in, ten, in 30 seconds? My average daily diet? What do you mean in terms of, of uh, calories? I, I always follow the the 5%, 20%, and 70%, but most uh, importantly, you know, uh, at the rate I'm going, and I've already reached my goal at this point, so um, technically right now, I don't really have to reach the the fat percentage, the, your goal okay. fat percentage, so I just reach my protein goal and because I can want you, my body to... Can you tell them? Oh, sorry. Wait. I was going to tell... I, was gonna I, get wanna, uh, I want to... Uh, you know ha want my body to burn my own fat now at the beginning you want to to maintain that goal of 70% fat in your diet because that's what's gonna replace as fuel for you instead of the, uh, the usual carbs but then as you progress and as your body adjusts then your body you want your body to burn its own fat and not from necessarily from the fat that you eat. So can you tell them about how you do blood tests daily to check if you're in ketosis? Well, well before I would do the strips, the urine strips, and those strips have, uh, it's called the ketone uh, strip. So the when, when you burn fat, it releases uh, ketone bodies in your urine. And so when you test your urine, and if there's like a colors, depending on what color, it, it ranges from like light to dark. So uh, you would know that you're in ketosis. Or, but you know, um, I'm not an expert on that. But uh, cool. some people are saying that sometimes uh, if you're into a keto diet for like three months, um, your body is already starting to adapt and adjust, and 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 so the the strips, the ketone the urine strips would show less uh, color. But that doesn't mean that you're not in ketosis. Sometimes they say it's very high uh, the color is so high in the urine strips is because either you didn't drink too much water or um, what do you call this um it's the excess of the the food okay. of the fat that you okay. what's took. the biggest challenges you've had doing the keto diet the challenges is of course I have a sweet tooth and I love sweets so the challenge would be oh, not, not to sweet. eat sweet not that sweet not not to eat sweets um, but the longer you are in keto diet um, the more that you notice that you don't even crave for sweets anymore. Do you have any before and after photos post on your Facebook? No, I don't. Okay, I was, put, I'm gonna pull, I was pulling up no. her Facebook on my laptop. I wanted to show you guys some of the before and after photos. Um, it's no, actually no, interesting because my wife now looks shorter even though I know she's the same height. <laughs> She looks so small. I, uh, oh, I, I'm going to send you something. And you can show the camera you, you, before and after. I know, but um, maybe you can uh, share it. But I have uh, an actual uh, photo that I, I... It's like a collage of all the... Before and after shots? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to show your body now and show them off? <laughs> well, no, because you look so good. You know, you've got a lot of success. Um, Here, I'm going to send it to you. You can show the camera. Show them. I don't know if we're it's delete it anyway. show. I'll show it. Okay. How? I'll show them. Okay. All right, that's what we're going to do. Let me turn the camera on, guys, so you guys can see a before and after shot. So you can see the, the before the and after. The upper left is uh, the... That was when she first started. Yes. And then you can see the uh, progression. If you recognize that photo with the blue dress, that's actually on our political stuff. Here, let me hold up. So you guys can see the before and after shots. You see that blue photo? I'm, I'm in that one. See, that's the same one that's right there. So she's out there showing her body off and um, actually got me to lose much weight. So there's the before and after shots. If you guys get some motivation. So it's kind of cool. You're looking you're like, wow, it looks so pretty. Yeah, and she, look, she looks, looks like she's like 10 years younger too. How's your energy? Oh, you got a phone call. So that's My energy, down. the first uh, few months, like a couple of months with the keto diet, I was, I was really kind of tired and you know, it's a. They say your body is transitioning, uh, getting used to the uh, to burning uh, fat as your fuel and not your and not glucose yeah. or sugar. So that's why you're kind of your body's adjusting, and so you're kind of having this so weak, you know, weakness and. How about your intermittent you know, fasting? How was that? Okay, so I also. Uh, two months into the keto diet, I uh, incorporated the intermittent fasting. 
Open, it, open your phone again. So I'll show them. The, well, as she's talking, I'll show the uh, the before and after shots. So. So I incorporated the intermittent uh, fasting along with keto, and it works really, really well. The reason why I did intermittent fasting is because of the benefits that you get from uh, fasting, which is mainly not just weight loss, but um, I don't know if you've heard the word uh, autophagy. Autophagy is when your body uh, starts to eat uh, abnormal cells inside like uh, you know scarred cells uh, scar tissues and uh, any uh, uh, broken uh, cells in your body and then it re regenerates uh, new cells um, so uh, there's a lot of uh, science behind it and well, that was the reason like it's glowing all the time now that was the reason why I incorporated uh, intermittent fasting as well there's a intermittent fasting is when you fast certain uh, hours and then you eat at certain hours too like for me I would finish my dinner at around six o'clock or seven o'clock and then so I would count from then on 16 hours so that will be your fasting period and then so I would eat uh, during lunchtime like uh, 11 a.m. Or 10 a.m. I would start eating from there so that would be your feasting uh, times from 11 a.m. to until 6 p.m. 7 p.m. so uh, yeah and, and and I noticed that it really revved up my uh, my fat burning uh, mode w how, once I incorporated how's your, how's the your mood? Are you happier now Do you smile more ha happier uh, well I'm happy because you know I I was pre-diabetic before and then just one month into the keto diet I you know my a1c was from 6.3 6.4 to suddenly it went down to 5 and then I noticed that you know my, my skin is better my periods uh, I've never had regular periods uh, all my life ever since I you know from the first day I've had my period I was super super irregular I would skip a month without having any period and even to the fact where two years ago I started taking because uh, I was tested my progesterone was very very abnormally low and my estrogen was very yeah. very high and I I took a uh, supplementation for that to fix it so I only had did it for like four or five months although it did uh, try to uh, make my uh, period a little bit regular but it was never it was still kind of problematic so I just totally stopped it I didn't like what it was doing to me I felt bloated but a month into the keto diet I noticed right away that my period started and I thought it was just a fluke but then every month after that um, you know I've been very very regular so that's what I that's what I uh, noticed um, I'm, I'm happy because of that and I'm also happy because I fit into the clothes that I want and I before I, like people would take pictures of me and I'll show them the after photo. they want to look at the photos again Good uh, people. here's the I keep talking I, I don't like how I looked in the pictures I you know, uh, I try to minimize having uh, photo ops and although I'm smiling but I felt like I could, you know, I, I wasn't too happy with how I look and call me vain but, you know, I like, you know, to, to look better and I like to be better. And so where do you shop mostly, honey? <laughs> for food, for groceries. For groceries, uh, I do go to Costco. I uh, Trader Joe's. Um, I love. Um, so basically, in normal places, everyone else shops. Yes. No specialty stores required for a keto no. diet. No, you don't have to buy, you know, any specialty. Like you know, I used to do Weight Watchers too. I lost a lot of weight before that, like years and years ago, and I was a lifetime member. Okay. With so, Weight Watchers. Also, when you but, were pre pregnant, you I, had pre the gestational diabetes also. Yes, I had a gestational diabetes, but it went away. But, um, you know, a uh, couple of years ago, that's when it started. I started uh, growing bigger and bigger again. And yeah. that's when I was uh, already starting to be pre-diabetic. I have a 
my family on the father's side is um, diabetic. So uh, I was uh, so already the... predisposed to uh, being diabetic. So there's the before and after shots? So I do shop also at uh, Sprouts. I love a lot of stuff at Sprouts, um, Trader Joe's, Costco, even Ralph's have a... Yeah, our family do a lot of those cheese, those, instead of crackers now, we do cheese wisps and then her dip but sauce. I can say though that I, I can eat dairy, but for some people that are on keto, uh, they prefer not to have dairy. If you're one of those people that only you don't have to, um, you know, you can just uh, you can just uh, use any other source. I just uh, do dairy because I love cheese and um, okay. you know. Yeah, cheese and wine. So you still oh, drink well, every now and then. I, Every now and then I would, because wine is basically alcohol and it's, it's supposed to uh, stall you in your weight loss. Yeah, it's uh, not good. It kills your testosterone as well for men. But because I've already, uh, my body has adjusted and, and it has already been into this fat burning mode. So once in a while I would have my wine and the next day I would still be doing fine. I would only have a glass or two of uh, red wine and the wines that you should choose are the ones that are not sweet you know uh, like I like dry wines like cabs and so I got a question Merlot. for you some email me a question they want to know what's your favorite restaurant to eat at with your keto here in Irvine you, you can basically eat anywhere with keto because favorite? yeah because I love steaks um, that's my favorite. So any restaurant that you go to that have steaks are your, what's your, protein. Where will they, people find you at? Mostly I used to go to the Taps. Uh, Jamboree? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jamboree. Taps uh, restaurant. What, what do you call that? It's a fish uh, house and brewery. I know, it's just Taps. It's on Jamboree. Taps fish house and brewery. You always get the ribeye is, over is there. Is where I, I usually go and I, I love their steaks, I love their pork chop and I would specifically ask for the sides that I would ask for asparagus yeah. or broccoli and I would ask them if the sauce yeah. has sugar and stuff, stuff like that. I love that. carbs, I love bread. I cut that out. You got me, you got me to lose like 10 pounds just cutting carbs. Right, right, good. right. You were a good influence in the family. So. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? Let me show you guys the uh, the before and after photos. If you're just joining us, we're talking with Nurse Tanya about Keto Talk and her total body transformation. This is my wife, Tanya. Um, you can see where she was at and then where she's at now. So we've got actually like 10 or 15 people watching. So if you guys want to ask questions to Nurse Tanya, who transformed her body with a keto diet very recently and positively influenced my entire family's, our, our family's lives, um, please ask your questions. So again, that's, that's Nurse Tanya who's talking right now. Um, what have been the, the top three favorite things about keto for you? What favorite you, things? The, the, that, overall, the whole experience, uh, what's the best, th best things? The best things, I guess, like, that I could eat fatty food that I love, especially steaks. I, I love that. I, I love that I don't have to deprive myself. I love that I don't feel hungry because you know, I have this certain satiation that I get from fats versus if you eat, you know, sugar or carbs and then at the end you're, you're full, but then you have this feeling afterwards of like being hungry again. I don't, I don't have that, yeah. but it kind of takes a while to achieve that um, uh, feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start, of course, you're yeah, it's a it's a it's a learning uh, our, curve. Yeah, our, our 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 most audience here recognize them. Their parents as well. It seems like when you're a parent, not, I just turned forty. It's uh, easy to gain weight. It's hard to lose it. So, but, but I haven't uh, answered yet. You, you oh, asked sorry, me sorry. three. Okay, three. And then so that's sorry. the first one. And then of course losing weight and having my uh, blood sugar uh, go back to normal and having my uh, period normalize as well. And then what else? Uh, you know, I I, I love it that yeah that I could could uh, look good in my clothes. Can you fit your wedding dress? I haven't tried that. I think it's actually too big for you now. Because you, you remember you were. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uh, was six months pregnant when uh, I had my wedding dress. So well, not, we're well, supposed to talk about that. <laughs> well, you brought it up, so okay. technically I would. Uh, I would probably fit it. And what a great mother you have been to our kid. Thank you. Uh, so, I always like to joke about the whole interracial thing too. We forget about it. 
but some people will try to make it a big deal, but not for us. We could get less. Anyway, we want to hear from you guys. I see Ashley and Craig Steele and some other faces I don't recognize up in the, the top of my screen right here. I have pieces, kind of, I recognize the photos. Um, Craig, actually, I'll talk about you. Let's talk about, I want to start rambling on about the army again. And uh, Craig Steele, he's an MP as well. So, All right. You, you've met him, actually, I think. Okay. You never met, I don't think uh, you met Ashley. Um, she runs the Irvine, Keep Irvine Irvine group. Her and right, Teresa, right, right. they did the whole protesting t for our neighborhood. So we thank you. Um, thank you. Yeah, because we live in Woodbury. It's just right next door to you guys. And uh, I was very worried about that. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I grew up in a very, very poor area. I, you know, I got held up at gunpoint when I was a kid. That kind of area I was at. So anyways, talk more about you. You were so interesting. Um, so where can they get this blood? Did you blood test too, right? Yeah, so after the urine strip test, uh, that, you know, I, that's how I started because it's cheaper. But then I told myself, if, uh, you know, it's an investment and I want to invest into this uh, keto lifestyle and it's also for your health. So I purchased uh, a ketone, uh, blood ketone test as well. Uh, mine is uh, called the Keto Mojo. That's the brand of the, of the um, blood test that you can do at home and we're not selling them <laughs> we're not selling. <laughs> I, I bought them from Amazon and I you know I, I test myself at least once a day so. it can be very pricey though, though the strips yeah. but it's really really worth it because it it shows it's although so the urine test strips yeah the urine test strips are yeah. <clears throat> it it's not as reliable as the blood uh, ketone strips so the blood ketone strips are the ones that I invested in it the strips alone it can be um, pricey and uh, but it's uh, more accurate uh, in terms of uh, when did you start tests. seeing results from the keto diet well like, like a week into the keto diet I lost nine pounds but that's mostly usually a week is mostly um, mostly water weight that you lose okay. but uh, you you can you from there on I I started losing little by little. Um, it's not a, a, a drastic loss, and a lot of my keto friends, you know, they, they get frustrated because, uh, you know, for a month into it, they only lost so much. But in the long run, you, you lose, uh, you lose little by little. But but uh, at least you're you're losing, and you know that your body is adjusting uh, to using your uh, fat as your fuel and how did it affect your muscle mass my muscle mass uh, it, it didn't affect me because you know um i still i i don't starve myself i still maintain my protein protein allowance for that day and the way that you can check your protein allowance there's just like three things that you have to to maintain your carbs your protein and your fat for keto. So 5% carbs, 20% uh, uh, protein, and 70% um, uh, fat. So the I've always maintained my protein, no matter if my carbs have been lower, uh, lower than my uh, my allowance. My uh, fat can be lower than my allowance, but my protein I've always always uh, maintained it. What has been the hardest thing for you in the keto? Well, the hardest uh, is not eating my favorite uh, desserts because uh, I have a sweet tooth. What's your favorite desserts? Creme brulee, uh, you know, cheesecakes, anything creamy with like cream and sugar. Do you have any cheat? Do you have any cheat days? No, well, I've never. I thought had. yesterday you had an event, right? Well, you know now. I can afford when I say cheat it doesn't mean cheat as in you can eat uh, you know what whatever you know you, you can eat but some people do but I don't I try to just increase my calories I try to eat a little bit more than my allowance for that day but you know that's like my cheat day but doesn't necessarily mean okay. that it's really cheating but yesterday I ate a cake for the first time I ate uh, a regular taro cake because it's my friend's birthday and we went out to a restaurant and they brought this cake and I cheated too last night I had a milkshake 
<laughs> and I had to eat it and I guess my my body couldn't tolerate it because I've been used to not okay. having sweets so yeah I was uh, I was full from the actual meal that we ate and then plus the cake so it didn't uh, work with me uh, so I had to go to the bathroom and uh, so throw up a little how do you like clothes shop clothes shopping before and after Ah, I is love. Is there an emotional difference for you when you go clothes shopping before when you were when you were heavy versus now when you do? do you, what's the emotional yes, toll uh, on you course, now that you're like like before when I would have to purchase a a dress size that's uh, bigger than what I wanted? Then it's kind of depressing and frustrating, and it's almost like to the point where you don't even want to look at the mirror, you know, and and see because you know you. You can't. Re I don't really look my my best, but I have. Really I have to. Honey. I have to get that dress because that's the only thing that fits me. Versus now, when I buy, I purchase a dress. Sometimes it's kind of scary because I like. I was expecting, let's say, uh, a size four that would fit me, and the next thing you know, it's still loose. So, you know. So, but, but I like it. I like uh, that I can fit into the uh, a low sized. Uh, dress and you know I, I look good and I, I'm more confident okay two other questions that just got emailed to me by my assistant <laughs> um, how did the support group affect your journey and the keto diet process the support group well I have the support group on Facebook um, it's very helpful because they they you know they're very encouraging and a lot of us in the keto uh, community, uh, we're very impatient. So we want to see results right away. And then if we don't lose weight for like a week or two, then we get discouraged. But then uh, there's uh, the, the group helps you with that. And they're very encouraging. They're very supportive. And they tell you that it's normal because facts, when you lose fat cells in your body, I didn't know this, but it's called the whoosh effect. The whoosh effect is when um, you know you, your 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 fat cells melt, and it doesn't melt in a certain way where it melts uh, uniformly in one area. It it, it, uh, it melts like like a, 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 an area here, an area here, an area there. How to do for you? I was a few. And I'm not finished. Uh, okay. And then so the your body tries to fill it up with fluid right away. Those cells that melted will be replaced by water right away. That's your body's uh, mechanism, uh, defense mechanism that, you know, to protect itself. And then so you think that you're not losing and then you weigh yourself, you put yourself in the weighing scale and then you see like, oh, no, you know, I'm not losing weight. It has been a week or two. But because those fat cells have been replaced by fluid in your body mm -hmm. and that's your body's way of maintaining a homeostasis and it's thinking that, oh, I know her, um, I, I know this person, that is going to be replaced soon by another fat. And then so after a week or two, your body's thinking like, wait a second, you know, it's not being replaced anymore. So it will try to let go of the water and then that's when you started losing weight like you know, like all of a sudden you lost like two three pounds and that was from the water that was uh inside those fat cells that were being preserved so that's awesome. called the whoosh effect there you go i see simple just joining us um how did you balance with working full-time as a nurse with your diet uh it's it, it can be challenging but you know it's very doable especially you know if if you find people that that would uh, do keto with you at work then it gets better and better because you share you know journey with somebody else and then if you have three or four more people then it'll be great you know at work so that's what happened at work I, I started doing it and then a friend of mine started doing it too and then another one started doing it, and then her husband started doing it, and then 
and then another one started you know so it, it became a group and it's it's like a, a little uh, support group in our work as well that developed over time and uh, and it, it's really helpful like we we uh, scout for food you know that are keto friendly online or somewhere else and we would share and it's, it's really and we bonded you know over the over the course of so uh, sister, how many months? Sisterhood at work of the nurses on keto. Sisterhood and brotherhood. Was one guy uh, doing? Yes, okay. yeah, a, a couple, awesome. you know, a husband and wife, and he actually lost uh, more than fifty pounds. Oh wow! How yes. long did him to do that? Well, he started. I think he started uh, April, but he has more to lose because he's a little bit more on the bigger side. But but he lost awesome. a lot of weight. Are there any unique problems or side effects from the keto? Um, remember you said people were oh, okay, some jealousy. So, wait, wait, wait. Um, the first week or two into keto, because your body's adjusting, you'll have keto flu. I didn't have it, but a lot of people did. So they feel like really weak. They have, uh, have headaches, you know, palpitations, almost like having a flu. Like you're so weak, you don't want to get out of bed. And that alone would uh, would make some people who have who doesn't know anything about keto give up because of the keto flu but the old, the the treatment to keto flu is just up your electrolytes your your sodium your uh, calcium your magnesium your potassium and there are some supplements online that can help you with those okay. and uh, because I was already having a heart palpitation even before I started keto I I took this supplement <laughs> For uh, keto flu and I didn't even know about it until I read the reviews and people on the reviews were talking about keto and I was like what are they talking about I was just taking it for my heart palpitation and that's why when I started doing keto you know I never had the keto flu because I already was into this uh, uh, supplement and it's just basically electrolytes without the sugar and uh, even up to now during my fasting phase I would drink some water and put some pink salt you know the Himalayan salt and have that uh, you know take those uh, mm -hmm. and put them on uh, on my palm and then uh, take them in the course of my fasting uh, period and that seems to take care of any hunger or any um, cramps or anything that people would normally feel during the fasting phase you know okay. like like weakness and stuff like that so it has been very good uh, so far I've never had really bad reactions from keto diet other people experience like cramping be so they just up their uh, electrolytes uh, during the keto diet and that, that uh, really helped a lot awesome. all right just I'm not sure how long you want to keep talking I could do this all day but um how does someone get started in keto? If they're looking to get started? All right, so when I started keto, the first thing that I did, I went to Costco <laughs> and then I saw a book on keto and I was like, okay, uh, I thought it was like Atkins diet because I have been with Atkins diet before. And there's two different things with the Atkins diet. Atkins diet before, I, I, I tried that too. It was very, very restrictive and there seems to be no limit in protein and fat that you can eat and that's the big difference between the keto diet now you have more options i've never eaten so much veggies in my entire life than with the keto diet and then my protein i do eat protein but also there's a limit to it that's it's a misconception where they say keto is just plainly all protein that you can eat and all fat that you need it's not true because anything over with the protein too, it can also turn into glucose. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing that I would recommend for anybody who wants to go into keto diet is to purchase a book and read up first and read, read, read before you even start. Are there online resources? Of course, if okay. you Google keto, it's like everywhere. Okay. Yes. So would you say that you were very disciplined with the keto diet? Yes. Okay. I guess because I'm also I have a, a an obsessive compulsive uh, personality, so it, it's easier for me to follow keto and not cheat. Because there are others that 
you know okay. they they call it the not so strict keto or yeah. dirty keto so, so some disclaimers here too does anyone need to see their doctor before they start this um i would encourage them to see their doctors especially if they already have pre-existing uh conditions like heart disease or or diabetes um but i would warn you though because a lot of doctors the the doctors that we have you know are not really so well versed in keto that they just uh you know consider it as a fad and they don't some of a lot of them don't believe in it but there are also a lot of doctors that know about it and and do and in, in fact uh there are a lot of doctors like dr Dr. You Fung. should talk about what your day job is real quick. So they, maybe they have, they're curious what she does every day as a I'm nurse. I'm an operating room nurse. So you do all sorts of surgeries? Yes. Awesome. Just, just want to let them know who you're... What, what right, kind of right. Thing. But I just wanted to let them know that a lot of doctors might not be supported. So, right. So all the, the very br best thing that you can do is research online about keto, especially if you have a pre-existing... Uh, condition like diabetes or we said it helped your diabetes right yes but you know I don't have a pre-existing diabetes I, yeah. I'm pre-diabetic but actually, uh, yeah. yes actually I've got to go see Dr. Thermos I just got my, my semi-annual blood tests which uh, so far so good otherwise if there was anything bad he would have called me so I'm gonna see Dr. Thermos next week and Dr. Thermos is going to be coming on my live broadcast the next two weeks so you guys get some free medical advice from a health and wellness endocrinologist a wellness doctor. So. Right. Anyway, do you want to keep one? I could. Yeah. You good? I think any we're good. Any closing remarks, honey? Uh, well, for those people that wanted to to do keto, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's it's a great way, and it's not just a diet. It's not something fa uh, like a fad diet. Uh, invest in it, but do your re research first. To read up on it before starting. Because a lot of people, they're, you know, like just listening to me and then they, be, they, they decide to like, oh, I want to do keto. And the next thing you know, they give up because they haven't really researched anything about it. What's your favorite keto-friendly snack? Uh, I like the, the, uh, the Parmesan uh, uh, cheese whisks yeah. from Costco. Yeah, Those should, are my favorite oh, and macadamia whole, nuts. You got our whole family on the cheese whips. They, they, they're like <laughs> cheese, so sort of fat. But they're not crackers, no carbs, and then you have to Yeah, but they, they're very, very crispy, like Parmesan, almost, baked Parmesan. It feels like a cracker when you, when you yes, bite into it. Yes, yes. <coughs> so we have plenty of those from, uh, Costco sells them in big bags. And we got lots of those at the house. Right, right, right. Awesome, not many comments, but a lot of people hung out with us the whole time. <coughs> it seems new faces. Is that some, I think some from work. I think that's Saya. That's Saya? Okay. Excuse me. As soon as I get on camera, I have to cough. Never before. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys the before and after photos. So you guys have any questions to ask Nurse Tanya. I'm going to call you Nurse Tanya. Oh, man. Do you want to go do this again? You, you seem, for someone that seemed to be kind of reluctant, you would like seem to enjoy this today. No, because I'm very uh, passionate about uh, keto Well, it's also going to help and others. And this has helped your health. You explain the health benefits to the people. That's kind of cool. I've since lo lost uh, two pounds from that uh, from this uh, last uh, picture here. That awesome. was my, my latest. That was my latest picture. Awesome. And but I've I've lost two more pounds after that one. Awesome. Well, maybe we can make the whole city healthy. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah. Well, we got a big city. All right. All right, honey. Okay. Just want to end the broadcast. So, wait. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, Actually, I'm going to leave this broadcast up. I thought I was going to delete it, but it ended up being very, very useful, I think, to people. So I'll leave it up on our Facebook. So I'll try to smile because you never know what the thumbnail is going to be when you save it. Okay. okay. So to sit here for, <laughs> save for two minutes and hold a smile, then that is the, the thumbnail that's going to show up in the news feed. So any last questions? I still see some people are hanging out watching us. So unless the next minute. Hold your peace. You guys can always leave your comments below. Tanya, she is tagged on this um, on this video, so she will see your comments and she can respond to them. All right. Okay, honey. Take care, guys.